Hello everyone and welcome back to Deus Ex. This is episode 16. Last time we went to Chateau Duclair and we had a little bit of a poke around before being able to make contact with Morgan Everett. Uh, we're currently... Oh. <laughs> Please give your ID. We're currently swimming. Um, we were going to be trying to find our way into this uh, cathedral. Um, however, it seems that I am not able to do that, but it looks like we can actually go in the ground here. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, um, okay, well, we're going this way now. Uh, I'm going to run out of oxygen, uh, which is very good. Um, so I'm going to start losing health at a dramatic rate because we're now, we're now drowning. Um, we're going to combat the drowning with regeneration. Um, and this is probably not going to work, but let's keep, let's just keep gargling. We're healing points. This is good, isn't it? Our regeneration has been deactivated. This is now an issue. Because, oh, I'm actually regenerating faster than I'm drowning, that's why. Alright, let's put regeneration back on. Uh, we're staying alive! This is what happens when you have a low swimming skill. Uh, incredible. MG12 has the cathedral locked down. If you can't get through one of the doors, you will have to find another way. I'm not sure where the computer system is located. Okay, um, we are now uh, over here. So that's very good. <laughs> Unexpected uh, swimming segment as I fell off a bridge trying to not get caught by the other guy. Um, see if we can do this. I would probably, would probably go in loud because I have a gep gun and it just feels like the right thing to do. I want to, um, because otherwise we end up in uh, issues like this, and then we get attacked. I said that's him, but they don't actually know where I am. They're checking Sonics, apparently. our next target. Oh. Here's another one. Oh. Yeah, look at us go. Try me, fellas. They don't know where to find me, that's for sure. I believe I will enjoy this. Oh! Uh, Gunther's here. <laughs> I believe I will enjoy this, he says. Right, it's time. Um, I guess... Oh, God. Um, I guess Gunther is out here somewhere. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, there's Gunther. Oh, God, this was unexpected. I'm gonna blow you up, buddy. What? Wait, he's green. Hold on. He's green. What does this mean? I was about to just blast him. But... You give yourself up. I promise you a painless death. What's going on here? Can we talk? This is so weird. Hello? I can't talk to him. I regret that only once we worked together. Now the game has changed. You came all the way to Paris to tell me that? It is a simple message I am demonstrating. We know where you are going and what you intend. That doesn't mean you can stop me. I have been upgraded for this assignment. I am engaged. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, the flame flamethrower, dude. No. Oh, you asshole. I thought this was going to be like a spe this, I thought this was going to be special, having uh, some dialogue here. 
You asshole. Get, get gunned. <laughs> what a douchebag. He set me on fire. Come on, man. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh, come on, please. Don't let me burn to death. I blew the man up in in one shot. Ah, oh. Ah, oh. oh, there we go. We survived. Okay. Um. He's been upgraded, huh? No match for a damn Gep gun, that's for sure. Can't upgrade yourself to avoid a Gep gun rocket. Man might not have a single kill switch to his name, but, uh, Gep Gun? See you later. I- I was literally one millisecond away from swiping at his head on the back there, because I'm like, we're not able to talk to him, but he's green, this is so weird. Um, and then we did get some dialogue, uh, and then he volunteered, uh, to die, uh, essentially, because... Uh, he never stood a chance. Hear that? Hear that? Uh, poor Gunther. He tried, I guess. Uh, I've got the cathedral main door key. We also have a recoil weapon modification, which can go on nothing. The Doctrine of the Mighty, the Majestic Council of the Twelve. I was wondering if Gunther would tank a Gep gun rocket. Like, I genuinely thought he might have actually tanked it, and I was prepared to die. Um, but alas, he, uh, yeah, just the one. I didn't get to take the dragon's tooth to his head, but that's also fine. <laughs> anyway, the Doctrine of the Mighty. It is a commonly held precept that two are stronger than one, and that four are stronger than two, and that sixteen are by far stronger than four. With this, there can be no argument. If all of human history is but a single lesson, it is that the individual may be remembered, but the organization persists and thrives. A single artist, a single general, a single hero, or a single villain may all die, but it is impossible to kill a people, a nation, an idea, except when that idea has grown weak and is overpowered by one that is stronger. This, then, is the true calling of those who would be mighty and join they who rule in the world of majesty, to shun all that is empty fame and glory, to eliminate weak thoughts, weak hands, and weak ideas, to give up vain individuality and instead become part of something that is glorious and strong. This is the first secret, that by surrendering that part of you that is the least, you are elevated to the most. The first secret shall set you free, and those who know their duty will find it in the keys to immortality. The second secret can be explained to all, but truly understood by those who have submitted to the first body and soul. I'm gonna elevate through your levels of Scientology. All right, hang on. Um, I don't know why I changed my webcam before reading this. Adept, 34501, Order of the Night Sky, third rank. Those who rule in majesty, the Twelve, have set you to watch over this place and record all that may happen, so we may benefit from your observations, as you may benefit from our wisdom. You are entrusted with a key to Sidon's vault, the fountain of wisdom, and a number and a secret. You will guard these things with the life and soul and do your duty so that the fourth secret may find a place in your heart. Twelve. So we've got uh, a key to the vault, a key to the fountain of wisdom, and uh, a number and a secret. 34501 and 08711. Okay. Um, that should be in our notes now, and we've got places to utilize those numbers, I expect. Uh, we've got a lot of reading to do here. Ah, a good library, worth its weight in gold. Okay. We've got a key. Another one to the cathedral main door. It looks like I've got some more reading to do here. Uh, the Red Cross, A History of the Knights Templar by Richard Bagant. Volume 1, Defenders of the Faith. Upon the deliverance of Jerusalem, the Holy Lands remained in a precarious state, surrounded on all sides by hostile Mohammedan neighbors. It was then that Hughes de Payens, a knight from Champagne, bound himself and eight fellow knights in a vow to forever protect the kingdom of Christendom. Accepted in 1118 by Baldwin II, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, they were given charitable lodgings in the city temple, where they became the Pauvres Chevaliers du Temple. Don't get me to do French, because I'll end up throwing an Italian hand for no reason. Or the poor knights of the temple. 
It was not until later at the Council of Troyes that the Templar Knights adopted the austere monastic rule of St. Benedict, along with the white garments of the Cistercians, adding to them the characteristic red cross that symbolized their willingness to spill their own blood in the defense of the one true faith. The Templars quickly became a popular order, renowned as lions at war and lambs at the hearth. They were soon exempted by the popes from all secular and episcopal authority, save that of the popes themselves and their lands exempted from all taxation. I love being met with so many words that I've never had to say out loud before, and it's always just, just such a great time, you know? It's not all, at all embarrassing. It's so much easier to read internally, you never have to worry about how you say words. Red Cross, A History of the Knights Templar, Volume 2, Lions of God. And every sovereign of Europe made donations to the order, be it land, money, arms, or men. They triumphed in battle after battle, the first to attack and the last to retreat, rough knights of the battlefield, as described by Jacques de Verti. If taken prisoner, they refused all efforts to secure their freedom, instead becoming martyrs to the cause of God. With every success, the order prospered even further. At their height, they were said to have owned over 9,000 estates throughout Britain. Over 9,000! France, Italy, and the Holy Lands, including a network of castles and commanderies built to protect the frequent pilgrims of Jerusalem. In all but name, the Templars virtually ruled Jerusalem and, in what can only be termed hubris, recognized no temporal authority over their affairs save that of the church. By 1250, the coffers of the order had grown so large that it was not uncommon for pilgrims to deposit their money with a temple in London or Paris and then cash in their receipt upon arriving in Jerusalem, thus establishing the foundations for modern banking and checking accounts. Part 3 Fall of the Knights While many charges can be disputed, it is clear that the more the knights prospered, the less they became the austere monastic order that had originally been envisioned by Depayans a century before. Eventually, even excommunicated men and criminals were accepted, as long as they pledged blind obedience to the order. Rumors of secret initiation rituals and the osculum in fame, the obscene kiss, flourished, as did stories that they worshipped Baphomet and other false pagan gods. But it was their rivalry with the Order of Hospita Hospitallers. Hospitallers? You say hospitalers. Hospitallers. Hospitallers and their continued arrogance that they were most responsible for their downfall. When Jerusalem was finally lost to the mighty forces of Saladin, Philip the Fair saw an opportunity to bring the Templars to heel and greatly expand his own holdings. With the cooperation of the French Pope Clement V, Philip accused the Templars of heresy and in 1304 placed all members of the order in France under arrest, subsequently subjecting them to brutal interrogations in an effort to determine whether the rather fanciful charges of sodomy, apostasy, and devil worship were true. Hospitalers. It's weird when you have a word that you are able to say but they change the ending and you're like, how does that roll off the tongue? Hospitalers. Just doesn't sound right. Volume 4, Descent into Shadows. But despite Clement's letter, later efforts to annul the proceedings, the confessions had become matters of record. Those who repented were spared the flames, while 50 knights who chose to recant their confessions, becoming relapsi, relapsed heretics, were promptly burned at the stake. The remaining members of the order in France quickly admitted their guilt, and in 1311, an apostolic decree was issued, dissolving the order. The Templar Knights had once been subject to no king or law, but in the end, they were swallowed by history. Many have debated whether the rather ignominious dissolution of the order was entirely accidental, while some has even gone so far as to suggest that it was part of a larger plan on the Templar's part. Such a massive, powerful organization, the argument goes, could not have been brought so low so easily. Obscure speculation concerning a... Miserous? Miserious? Hey, Wayne. I almost went to say mysterious, but it says mysterious Haywain that departed their commandery in Paris has led certain researchers to believe that they may have been protecting the secret of the Holy Grail or the secret of transmutation. But still, others contend that the Templar Knights merely went underground and founded the powerful secretive banking societies of Switzerland. Very good. Um, mysterious. 
to see what that word is. I think it's a typo, dude. Yeah, mysterious does not come up as a word. Uh, so it's a typo. So not only am I having to try and read something for the first time, which, you know, is already hard enough because, like, imagine being given a script and being like, all right, cool, nail it first go. It's really hard to do. Uh, reading out loud can be a challenge when you're presented with a lot of words. <laughs> Um, and then when you're fighting typos and going, wait a minute, am I reading a weird word or a typo? It's just all a mess, isn't it? Um, thank you for bearing with me. Sometimes we just have a funny little, uh, reading session and it's not the best. Okay. Uh, so that was the library. Don't know how I pulled this assignment. I was told that this was a private security organization, but I should have known something was going on when they didn't ask about the damn discharge. Stupid. Now I'm walking the line at some gloomy-ass church in the middle of Paris. Nothing for company but a bunch of brain-dead zombies dressed in black and that crazy cook keeps rattling on about temples or templars and how he used to cook for the rich or something. I don't know. Food isn't all that great. Can't even get a bottle of ketchup. And then this German mech org shows up yesterday. I knew a lot of stone cold people in the service, and this guy looks like he's got murder on his mind. He stands down there in tech archive like a pot. I was on patrol in the cellar for 10 hours and he didn't move once. Inhuman. It's like he's waiting for something. I think I heard him crying once. Aw, oh, crying for, uh, for Anna Novara. As soon as I move my webcam up, I'm like, yeah, guys, it's safe. Look. All right, actually, we read that one. We're safe for now. We got some binoculars. Okay, so it looks like these were like some chill barracks. Let's take a look. Aha, a trellis. You could climb onto the roof and avoid the security. Never depend upon weapons in high tech when there is a simpler solution at hand. Yes, um, and uh, I've definitely not had to worry about security at all. Okay, so we can uh, go up this way. This is the library. Keep going up this way. It's a bit of bit of risky business. Hello, mate. How you doing? Actually, you know what? <laughs> bit of a bit of overkill. All right, let's let me let me see here. I gotta, I gotta save before I make this jump. Company. Hey, okay. Company, he says. I get into the window from here. I think I can. <laughs> the problem is, who's don't even think about it. Just go. There we go. There you go. Look at that. Just don't even think about it. Just go. In one go. <laughs> oh wait, that was um. Oh. How did I miss this? I'm in my observant mood today, clearly. Didn't even see the beautiful hallway here. Right in front of me. I walked into the library and then walked out and said, Yep, that's good. We're doing well today. Now we've got the main door to the cathedral. Okay. That still works. What? What? That's what I thought. Once I knelt in this chapel for communion with two Rockefellers and a Rothschild. Since the time of the Crusades, every leader in finance has prayed for the continued stability of Templar banks, founded on gold. Founded on gold. Did any is here. Yes, here. Oh. Oh god. Now. oh god. The worst thing you can do is put distance between yourself and one of these fellas. <laughs> no! 
he got so close to my torso is cooked. Thank you. Time to go check out this side. Maybe we'll go uh, hang out with the cook down below and uh, see what old mate was looking at. second okay so we do have a we do have codes we don't know which specifically this is for yet hello ambrosia what's going on here and also this one's already open so I wonder if this was one of the others that um, maybe all that noise that we made uh, inspired Gunther to oops, uh, open the door for us. Mm. Nice exploration bonus. Good door opening device. Hello. Chip, throwing knives, buckshot. Very good. Floor cushion. Floor cushion. We have computer terminals. Very good. Um, now, actually, it could be possible that one of these could be a username uh, and a password scenario, potentially. But I'm not sure. Technology Archive. Oop, camera's off. Testament of Adept 34501. Uh, which, hang on. Which is right here. My name has been taken from me, a thing I need not anymore, and I've been christened Adept 34501 have set me to keep a record of this place, to record a history of its comings and goings, so that those who rule might have the benefit of its knowledge. Today saw the arrival of Agent Herman. He is a simple thing, fitted to a dark purpose by forces he cannot understand. In a way, I feel pity for him, an emotion that I know will prevent my adma advancement beyond the third rank, but it is pity I feel nonetheless. He has spent most of his time below in the technology archive, staring at the ancient cross above his head. He burns with a hatred that I can feel for himself and for someone else. Periodically, he will receive holographic communications from Simons, after which his hatred burns all the brighter. I think it has burned away everything human in him, and only the metal holds him together anymore. That's an amazing uh, piece of uh, written work there. I love that. Again, with the cathedral key. Oh, hello. We have the compromised individuals list. The following individuals have been rated of having an 85% or higher likelihood of being engaged in suspicious or ideologically counterproductive activity on the Chase and Bicycle scale, or have at least scored 4.31 on the JKL LB survey over the preceding six months. Agents are encouraged to pursue soft campaigns of calculated defamation, resulting in reduced meme propagation effectiveness prior to pre prejudicial termination. 
Termination, when necessary, should be staged to implicate, implicate organizations currently on the MJ-12 COL. Please refer to questions to MJ-12 simulations and strategy. Jean Renoir, Aaron Todd, Decker Parks, Rene Dellen, Wayne Young, Henry Rota, Ave Gervais, and Raymond Kearns. I feel like maybe some of these names have popped up before. Uh, and then there's that data pad again. Okay, so we just got like multiple ways of getting to the same room. Okay. I find it weird that I can't turn off that camera, even though I access like a terminal super close by. Alright, well, considering that notepad was. Well, 34501 is the adept, so maybe that was what that was for. That uh, number pad that for the door that's open. So we're going to try... 1942. So this is Sidon's vault. Which is also... A lot of ambrosia. And we got some cameras. And we got the ability to bypass that. Um, okay, we'll come back. So Sidon's vault has been discovered. We're gonna head down this way. So this should be where the tech, the, the technology room. Oh, this is the this is the chef in his big ass kitchen. What do you want? Know where I can find a computer terminal in this building? You're in the wrong place. If I am to prepare breakfast for dozens of soldiers, then I must be left alone. I don't work for the troops that took over the cathedral. You part of the original staff? I have been the chef here for eight years. Yes, the Templars were civilized. They paid me and they let me leave the compound. I'm no friend of your new bosses. Maybe you can help me out. Fine. These soldiers deserve to lose everything they've taken. Go up the three flights of stairs just outside the kitchen. Turn left, go down two flights. Then look for the door with a keypad on the left. Sorry, I do not know the code. What was that again? I have helped you enough. I do not need a bullet in the head. Now go. Yes, Chef. Okay. Directions to the computer terminal and directions to the gold. From the kitchen, three flights of stairs. Turn left, go down two flights. Straight up ahead and more stairs. And turn right, but the gold is more stairs. Wait. It's literally, no, it's the same directions for both of them. They will kill me if I talk to anyone. All right, Suelta. This is my life. A chef in the basement of a kennel. I'm not allowed to leave. If they want a hamburger, why not go to an American hamburger franchise? <laughs> the Templars were bankers and la noblesse. That is my proper element. They want the hamburger. The recipes the soldiers request require less than 5% of my intellectual capacity. Great. Please, go about your business. Please, go about your business. Please. Oh, hey, fellas. Ah, who's there? Flamethrower, man. You were so close. Flamethrower man was so close to getting what he wanted today. I've been on fire too many times. I've got to try these flare darts sometime. Let's um, let's switch to flare darts because we have not used them. I'll go the next unfortunate soul to cross my path will please go about your business. Suffer the wrath of my flare dart. Okay, so outside the kitchen, go up three flights of stairs. One, two, three. Uh, and then from here, uh, you turn left. You go down two flights. One, two. And then it's this one. So it's this one that we open. So this is the gold and also the computer terminal in the one go. Um, I've learnt my lesson of uh, spending a million years putting boxes in the place of lasers only to jump right through the laser so we'll use our multi-tools I mean we're we've almost ran out of multi-tools so we've got to be careful the gold wonderful my people will take control when you move out I believe you know Chad 
I've given him control of an NSF platoon on loan to me from America. NSF platoon from America, okay. This horde dates back to when the Templars managed the French treasury for Philip the Fair. They moved it here from the temple in Paris after the crackdown of 1307. The Nazis boxed it up for shipment to Berlin, but had to abandon the cathedral during the evacuation. Good law. Now, uh, we unfortunately only have the ability to hide from organics. So these we can't hide from these cameras. We just gotta... Oh, nice. Never mind. We just gotta... Wonder if we could do the login of Sidon and use the thing. The uh, camera, camera, camera. Off you go. Good night, everybody. And free to look around. Barosia. Reload. Right, well, this is going on to this bad boy. Some more rockets. So, look at them. Look at them symbols. Uh, so, we've got so a decent amount of Ambrosia hole that can be uh, given to the given to those in need. Very good. Um, computer terminal wise, however, we don't seem to have access to the computer terminal. it seems. Um. There we go, nice. We got a range upgrade. Just do that on the rocket too. Okay, computer terminal we're still looking for, so turn left, two flights, straight up ahead. Two flights straight ahead, up more stairs, and then turn right. So we went left, two flights. We need to go up more stairs and turn right. So that's this way. So up more stairs and turn right. Or is it up here and turn right? Because that's no, because that's her place. Oh, it might be this one. I don't know why I didn't even check to see if I had the key, but also we have lockpicks, so we may as well use them. Oh, shit. Uh, this is just outside. Simons. No new messages. Is this terminal? 500 skill points. Critical location bonus. Very good. Uh, we're on 3,000. just train myself in heavy weapons with this gip gun at this point in time but I haven't reached master at anything yet I'm tempted to master something now in terms of passcode terminal I'm just gonna hack in establish system uplink and then we got an email of which there are none data lock disengage system uplink transfer established Oh, 
We did certainly teach you how to fight, didn't we? Huh. You're worried, Simons. We almost have a cure. You have nothing. Even if Everett succeeds, you can't synthesize enough vaccine to stop an epidemic. You need a universal constructor, and don't think Page Industries is going to leave one lying around for you to use. Not after you blew up the one in Hong Kong. I was never properly trained in its operation. Laugh it up, Denton. Next time we won't use an old box of bolts like Gunter. The only reason I let him go to Paris is that I was sick of his moaning about Navarra and constant requests for a tune-up. You sent him because you knew he would fight to the death. He was the last of the mechs. Next time you will face someone of your own abilities. Ooh, face someone of my own abilities? Okay. That feels a little on the nose. Let's have an old bucket of bolts. I'm getting what I need. Good work. I will now consent to meet you in person. Go to the metro station nearby and await my instructions. Okay, time to go to the metro station. We're hearing the voice of a majestic 12 AI. No need to be alarmed. For now. I can protect you and Daedalus for a day or so. Ooh, Morgan Everett name drops Daedalus too. So Majestic 12 AI is what Icarus is. So Morgan Everett is actually protecting us, even though Icarus said he has control of all our systems. Damn. Huh? Alright. Your systems were very cooperative. A build complete. You were just a prototype, Denton. A prototype for me. Wait, what? Is Bob Page going to be the one that's on our level of power that Walton Simons was just talking about? We were a prototype for his nano augmentations. What the fuck? My associate, Toby Atanwe, will meet you below. Okay. Very good. Um, Icarus being like, your systems are very cooperative. Morgan, I've got an Icarus inside of me, and Bob Page is apparently going to be more powerful than me. Old science man. Who is... Keep going. Atanwe is in the tube below. Travel advisories are in effect. No worries. Um, yeah, goddamn, I got this guy. Bob Page. What a nerd. I'm gonna shoot him in the face with a gap gun. The Tanway, where Only are you? Are you? Are running. This guy? Yep, he's running towards me, alright. stops when I go up here. JC Denton, I will take you to Everett, but you will be forbidden to learn the way yourself. That will be quite a trick. You will not be armed in any way. Put the bag over the head. <laughs> you are not allowed to know the way. Do what you must. Step a little closer. Okay. See, no inconvenience whatsoever. Everett must be paranoid. We all are. The Illuminati is getting a taste of its own medicine. Has he made any progress on the Grey Death virus? Your uplink provided the missing encryption key. He has been able to complete the work that Presser Tong began. I must see him at once. He is downstairs in the lab. So some sort of neuro... what was it? Because it, it wasn't part of the dialogue that he said. The neuroparalytic gas. Okay. It would be rather serendipitous if Bob Page invented something Everett could not figure out. <laughs> we have never failed to decipher Majestic 12's plans. Stopping them, however, has been another matter. Everett thinks you can help us. I hope he's right. You will be heading back to America, if I understand correctly. Your President Meade survived the coup attempt, but he won't survive a national epidemic of the plague. Page is manufacturing the virus again, while Simons readies the paperwork to declare a national emergency. I wonder if we're actually going to be able to develop this uh, vaccine and a cure for enough people and reverse this whole thing and win, beat the corporate oppressors. The logical response is for us simply to cure the plague. Of course. 
Everett has a vaccine, but we need a way to manufacture it. A universal remote control device. He has a plan, but he has kept the details to himself. You better talk with Everett. Time is short. That's such a, an Illuminati thing to say. <laughs> and then I go, wait a minute, I know this place. <laughs> You're not supposed to be allowed to know how you got here, even though I'm like, I recognize out there. You got any secret things behind paintings? We're in an Illuminati member's house. Oh, okay, you're gonna try and turn us against them now. They wish to govern the world. Yes, uh, but the Majestic 12 has poisoned the world, so you know, you're not exactly in a good spot to try and convince me to switch sides, you know? Aquarium hatch key. Ooh, secret mirror, there you go, secret Illuminati things. Okay, um, sure. Sorry for breaking your shit. Ooh, Everett Global Enterprises. He's got his own thing. And we're hacking in. Uh, rooftop helipad and Lucius De Beers monitor. What is that? Okay, I'm gonna just turn those cameras off. Even though I don't think they're gonna be evil cameras because we're welcome here. I'm gonna turn them off anyway. That way Everett never knew I was here. Which of course he does. Beth, feel free to visit with Morpheus while I'm away. The code is 8001. I'm sure you have many interesting things to discuss and pay no attention to Lucius. He complains at my slightest provocation, Everett. We go in Matrix with this one. Okay, um, 8001. Oh, what the? What are you doing back here? Denton, right? Yeah. You're al alive in that thing? I am conscious. Tell Everett I am cold. He keeps me so cold. Who are you? Do you mind if I ask? The Supreme Enlightened. The leader of the Illuminati. I thought Everett was a leader. I am the leader. I brought the Illuminati up through the 20th century to the height of their power. I had presidents and premiers eating out of my hand. I am the one. I decline is the result of my own. All we need is for me to get back on my feet. What, what did Everett tell you? Nothing. I merely await certain technologies. Then I will be restored. Everett has sworn it. Huh. <laughs> Tell Everett that Lucius De Beers is cold. Um, okay, so who's Morpheus? and they got a guy in a fridge. I thought this was a computer terminal with like a face on it when I saw it from the camera. This really took me off guard. Uh, we do have the technology, sir. We got Gunther Herman walking around as a machine man. I'm sure we could do something about you. This is, uh, we got a Mr. House scenario. We got the old man in the fridge. He promised me. Are we now going to be suspicious towards our Illuminati group as well? I mean, oh my god. I'm so cold. Tell Everett I'm cold. This could be another situation of a group wanting both sides to fail so that they succeed. He needs me. The Illuminati would have ruled the planet. If only he had listened to me years ago. Maybe this dude is the problem and Morgan's okay? I was the one who warned him about Paige. Everett was too enamored with his young apprentice, Bob Paige, to 
to listen to an old man like me. I, I demand that he check my thermostat. The maid must have bumped it. I am certain. So his mouth doesn't move. He's frozen in there. Does he, is, but like, I wonder how this works. Because usually when characters talk to us, they do have mouth movement. So I'm like, is this dude cryogenically frozen, but mentally still awake? And he's able to like Stephen Hawking his thoughts? We should have poisoned Paige the first time he forged laboratory data. I guess you wouldn't complain about being too cold if you were cryogenically frozen, but I guess if you were, like, mentally aware that you were cryogenically frozen, you would be a little cold. We don't equivocate about outsiders, do we? Mr. Kennedy mentions a plot during a speech at Columbia University. He's out. No discussion. No matter that we got him elected. But a student of ours, an initiate, oh heavens, no. Oh, they're going into Kennedy assassination stuff? Okay. Too often, we aid the ambitious, and then they get away from us. Kennedy's, the Chinese, now Bob Page. Don't you get away from us, young Denton. We can't afford to lose you. I feel so numb. Get Everett down here. Hurry. He ignores my transmissions. This is just sad. I am too tired now. Go away. And then Morgan Everett, one day he'll make the thing to his maid. He'll go, hey, can you get the... Can you get De Beers down in the fridge downstairs? (laughs) Knee slap. Get De Beers out of the fridge. Ooh, shut down the support system. Why are we even given that option? Um, I think we should have a chat with Everett first. I'm too curious for my own good, man. I'm like, before we even talk with Everett, I've already stumbled upon the 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 cryogenic storage man. Who nobody expects the cryogenic frozen man, but maybe you should when you're walking around an Illuminati apartment. Okay. Do not to disturb Lucius de Beers. Do not to disturb Lucius de Beers. I'm a bit late for that. A little bit. What do you know about Lucius De Beers? It is not for me to discuss Mr. De Beers. Why? Is there something to hide? He is a friend of Mr. Everett's and very sick. You must not disturb him or inquire about him. Hmm, okay. I am not permitted to discuss Mr. De Beers. Just cleaning up. Don't let Mr. Everett catch you snooping around. Uh, I've done a little bit of it. Just a tiny bit. He's going to be like, why'd you go down there? Well, it's a good thing we turned the camera off, isn't it? Oh, the aquarium hatch key that we have. Cat. a rebreather and some darts yeah, I guess if we want to go swimming we can all right cat I'm gonna need you to move because like JC Denton's boots are dangerous come on I just I just gotta be careful where I even step hmm this way oh mm. what are you doing here good news huh Looks like we might pull this thing off. Alex, what are you doing here? Tong sent me. He wanted me to help with the decryption. Looks like Everett has it all figured out. Listen quickly. Tong doesn't trust the Illuminati. He sent me here to keep an eye on Everett. I see. How about the triads? Is the truth going to hold? Last I heard, 
But I guess we have other things to worry about now, huh? I'll keep you in touch through your info link. I'll try my best to keep you informed. Yes, do exactly that. Keep me informed. <laughs> yes, do exactly that. Inform me of the things that I need informing of. You won't be hearing from Tong for a while. He had to leave Hong Kong. Why? The triads? He said he had some business to take care of. I don't know. He didn't look so good. Sick? Either that or something was bothering him. The last thing he said to me, it was something about all the machines in his lab being useless. And then he cut off the connection. Useless for what? It was just an outburst. I don't know, but he wants me to wait here for instructions. JC, Tong is serious about Everett. He wants you to be careful. as it seems, you know? While you're in the air, I guess I'll be helping Everett prepare Daedalus for the attack. I hope he knows what he's doing. So Daedalus is like our Illuminati AI, kinda. He runs the whole fucking internet. <laughs> Some old AI. And Icarus's Majestic 12's one. The Echelon kernel was designed almost exclusively for collecting data, so we have to add functionality for memory wipes, threat termination, that kind of thing. It's not often you get to construct a software worm that might do some good for the world. Everett and Tong will need some control of the network if they're ever going to come out of hiding. Good luck at Vandenberg. Vandenberg? Some of the best scientists in the world have joined up with Savage. I'll keep you updated on the situation here. Yes, keep me informed. While you're in the air, I guess I'll be helping Everett prepare Daedalus for the attack. I hope he knows what he's doing. Where's Jaime then? Toby, I'm afraid I'll be in the lab for quite a while concentrating on this most interesting new development. If you need to access the security system, this week's code is PINSHOT. We should be especially wary now with this recent turn of events. I imagine Bobby is feeling the first signs of apprehension, and he tends to overreact when that happens. And if Lucius continues to... Look at this. And if Lucius continues to complain, you may access his life support with the same password at the central computer. Please don't raise his temperature more than a degree, as I don't want him thawing out. There you go. See? He's... He doesn't want him to be thawed out because he's just stringing him along. Right. Concerning. Concerning indeed. Okay, so we don't... We do not have... Code for this door. Four numbers. Oh. No, we do. 8001 because it's Morpheus. Many interesting things to discuss with uh, someone named Beth. Is this an AI? Prototype AI program. Oh, dude. Look, this game is just... It just gets better and better, dude. Mirror lock mechanism key. The mirror was already unlocked. <laughs> on, but I guess uh, it's too late now. Project Morpheus Notebook 8B. Morpheus has been moody of late, and I've uh, so far been unable to determine... Hold on, let me turn off my thing. Uh, I've been unable to determine the proximate cause of this change in behavior. This is a problem with N variable systems at arbitrary levels of sophistication. Minute perturbations become unquantifiable. Is personality nothing more than a tidal change of nonlinear system? And if so, what is the moon? What forces shape these tides? Morpheus could tell me if only Morpheus could model its own behavior, but this would require a system orders of magnitude more complex to uh, execute a simulation of its own identity. Oh, techno babble really melts my brain. <laughs> I may resort to a full battery of input analysis tests to be compared against previous baseline tests, but I find myself strangely reluctant to do so. At this level of development, Morpheus could be cognizant enough to find the experience unpleasant. I do not know why that word occurs to me. 
as it anthropomorphizes what it is obviously not human, but what may not so obviously be alive. Morgan Everett. We have a prototype AI over here called Morpheus. J.C. Denton, 23 years old. No residents, no ancestors, no employer, no. How do you know who I am? I must greet each visitor with a complete summary of his file. I'm a prototype for a much larger system. What else do you know about me? Everything that can be known. Oh, everything that can be known. Dude, this is so cool. Also, 23? God damn. What an accomplished little agent for 23 years old. Go on. Do you have proof about my ancestors? You are a planned organism, the offspring of knowledge and imagination, rather than of individuals. I'm engineered, so what? My brother and I suspected as much while we were growing up. You are carefully watched by many people. The unplanned organism is a question asked by nature and answered by death. You are another kind of question with another kind of answer. Are you programmed to invent riddles? Huh. I am a prototype for a much larger system. The heuristics language developed by Dr. Everett allows me to convey the highest and most succinct tier of any pyramidal construct of knowledge. Mmm, dude, I love this so much. How about a report on yourself? I was a prototype for Echelon 4. My instructions are to amuse visitors with information about themselves. I don't see anything amusing about spying on people. Human beings feel pleasure when they are watched. I have recorded their smiles as I tell them who they are. Some people just don't understand the dangers of indiscriminate surveillance. The need to be observed and understood was once satisfied by God. Now, we can implement the same functionality with data mining algorithms. You know what's crazy about this? This game came out in the year 2000, one year before 9-11, which is once that happened, that opened up the floodgates for surveillance to go crazy. And that's been shown and proven and leaked. And um, I've YouTube, this is a fictional game. I'm talking about fictional stuff. Any coincidental relations to real life is pure fiction. Do not listen to what I'm saying. Um, when that stuff happened, surveillance went crazy uh, big time. And it's only gotten worse and worse over the years. This game. This game has aged tremendously well. It's like you got this game that comes out with its utilization of AI and surveillance and how that affects people and corporations within society like manufacturing things and all of these falsified sort of stories that are being fed to the public. And then you've got Metal Gear Solid 2, which has also aged tremendously well babbling some similar topics about AI and the flow of information and all of that kind of stuff. Very good to play a game that is, you know, over 20 years old and it has such a um, resonating effect to play it now. And this, this is like why I love playing older video games and why I get so sad how there are like, people that just love to go, eh, game looks bad, don't want to play it. You know, you miss out on just some gold quality stuff. This is incredible. Also, um, I know the concept of Morpheus is not exclusive to the Matrix. It's just obviously so memeable of where that comes from. But I wonder, um, Matrix release date, because I know that both came out in 2000, but which one came out first in 2000? You know what I mean? Um, no, actually, The Matrix was 99, wasn't it? No, The Matrix was 99. So this was first, then this one came out a year later. Take the blue pill with this blue AI, Morpheus. Electronic surveillance hardly inspires reverence. Perhaps fear and obedience, but not reverence. God and the gods were apparitions of observation, judgment, and punishment. Other sentiments toward them were secondary. No one will ever worship a software entity peering at them through a camera. The human organism always worships. First, it was the gods. Then, it was fame. The observation and judgment of others. Next, it would be the self-aware systems you have built to realize truly omnipresent observation and judgment. 
You underestimate humankind's love of freedom. The individual desires judgment. Without that desire, the cohesion of groups is impossible. And so is civilization. Dude, this is a fascinating conversation between a prototype AI and a chemically cooked up 23-year-old who was born in a lab to be an augmented killing machine. Like, what a fascinating conversation to witness. A human being created civilization, not because of a willingness, but because of a need to be assimilated into higher orders of structure and meaning. God was a dream of good government. You will soon have your God, and you will make it with your own hands. Huh. I was made to assist you. I am a prototype of a much larger system. God was a dream of good government. God was a dream of good government. What a line though, right? I was made to assist you. He speaks with similar cadence to Walton Simons. Like, I think it's the same voice. Um, that was enlightening. This shit's crazy. Hey, you know what you got in that closet back there? Some of the best scientists in the world have joined up with Savage. You should go have a conversation with him. Ooh, augmentation canisters. I don't need them. Ha! about to meet with the Morgan Everett. Not before I hack into his systems again one more time. And I turn this off and I unlock his uh, things. <laughs> ah, there you go. AI prototype monitor. Wonderful. All right. Just had to unlock those so I can have the upgrade canister. So this is where the Illuminati ended up after centuries of conspiring to rule the world. The conspiracy is about to begin again, JC, between you and me. Nicolette was wise to bring us together. Wise like her mother. The most effective partnerships, like Beth's and mine, arise from mutual necessity. I came to talk about the Grey Death. Atanwe says you cracked the virus. A trivial matter. Paige added nothing to the core design. However, what we need to construct is a carbonocarbon ROM module, not exactly a vaccine. Can it be done without a universal constructor? No, we need time on a UC. But I know where we might find one, and also gain access to the US military networks. The US military? To stop Icarus from completely destroying the Daedalus AI. Daedalus is a design of mine. It replaced the old Echelon 3 network. Echelon? The surveillance system for the United Nations. So Daedalus was an MJ-12 tool and rebelled? More of a pattern matching error. It classified Majestic 12 as a terrorist group, alongside the NSF and Silhouette. And alongside the Illuminati, right? Are you sure Daedalus is your ally? What matters to us is that it opposes Majestic 12. We must help it destroy their intelligence apparatus. But that will require the military networks. I have already contacted Gary Savage of X-51. The former Area 51 scientists. Are they still camped out at the Vandenberg Air Force Base? They are close to completing a UC, and have the kind of connection Daedalus will need. Sounds like my pilot and I should head to Vandenberg. Yes, I took the liberty of radioing him. Here is the key to the helipad stairway. The door is in the foyer where Atanwe revived you. Good luck. I will be in contact. By the way, Lucius De Beer says he's cold. I know. 18 degrees Celsius, to be exact. Don't you think that's a little chilly? I keep his metabolism low so he will last. He is a good advisor. A one-man think tank, so to speak. He said he's the leader of the Illuminati. A harmless fantasy. He also thinks I'm going to restore his body. You aren't? The technology has been around for decades, but he does not need to know that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like, what? This is- that's kind of evil. Tell Lucius that Everett does not intend to revive him, question mark? <laughs> Don't forget to say hi to your friend from UNATCO, Mr. Uh, Jacobson. Already bumped into him. Very thoughtful of Tom. My own computer technician. I suppose he can help me prepare a comm link for Daedalus. I don't like this dude. What's that computer system for? The one with the blue face for an interface? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just something for passing the time and amusing guests. 
It has access to quite a bit of information, including information about me. An old prototype, for Daedalus, actually. It doesn't really handle surveillance in its current state. So you have your own private echelon system? Mr. Denton, your pilot is waiting. Yo. So, he's, uh, it said Morpheus was echelon 4 and Daedalus was echelon 3, but Morpheus being a prototype for Daedalus, is he lying? You saw a piece of Echelon 3 in Beth's Chateau. We salvaged some of the hardware. Ah, uh, okay. Surveillance used to be daemon based Daedalus is more distributed. A blip of his code runs on every communication device on the planet. If we control communications, we can organize and the other side cannot. See, we're now witnessing this war between the... Illuminati and MJ-12 here and we're, we were help, helping one side unknowingly when we were at UNATCO, we defected, we were helping the NSF and then it's gone deeper and deeper and deeper down this rabbit hole. Lack of organization is exactly what has plagued X-51. And now we're doing Area 51 stuff. I mean, we've already run into aliens. They had greys in the uh, Versalife basement. They're great scientists, but isolated. They left Area 51 to protest Majestic 12's experiments, and that's what it amounted to, a protest. They don't even coordinate with the NSF, which is headquartered a few hundred miles to the north. You see the need for global organization. Someone has to bring these disparate groups together. X-51 has assembled excellent technology. They just need someone to help them use it. You will be my representative at Vandenberg. I will trust you to find a way to manufacture the cure. Meanwhile, I have other preparations to make. Like, they've got good intentions in terms of this cure, but this dude's also got other things on his agenda, too. Meanwhile, I have other preparations to make. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take this upgrade canister. And um, it'd be cool if we could upgrade the uh, synthetic heart so it could reduce its energy rate. But, you know, uh, at this point, we'll end up canceling the, the need for it anyway. We've got a lot of things at level three. <laughs> and I'll put my uh, regeneration to level three as well. Um, I honestly just don't even think that we really need these. You know what that means? I need them. I don't need these. Yes, I do. Give them to me. Um, accuracy. I... And a laser sight. Put that on there too. And we'll use these flare darts real soon. <laughs> so Jock's arrived in his chopper, which, by the way, has just... It's gone such long distances, hasn't it? Like, that chopper has flown us all the way around the world. Oh, right. Oh, I have the key to this. Oops. <laughs> I had the key. That's pretty funny. Um, I'm gonna go for a swim. Why is Denton in my aquarium? Because I saw something, and I want it. Even though we know that we can actually use our uh, rebreather, uh, sorry, our regeneration to avoid even needing a rebreather in general. Um, <gasps> how do I get out of here? <laughs> how do you? Okay, sure, I think I can get back into the vent from the water. Hopefully. And then, um, Morgan's like, haha, you are my fish now, JC. <gasps> Me just breaking Everett's home. Alright, that, well, before we go to Jock, we're gonna head back down to, uh, to Beers. I think that that's only the right thing to do. Be like, hey, by the way, uh, that man is kind of crazy, and he does not even plan to revive you. Just so you know. Ooh, 
which I have a feeling he's then going to ask us to shut down his life support, considering that that's even an option. And the mirror. And here he is. Now, I will save. Where is he? I will remember these small injustices. When I am revived, I will remember. Everett has no intention of reviving you. He must. He has been commanded. He keeps you on ice so that he can benefit from your experience. But he intends to rule the Order himself. No. No. I will not allow it. Okay. If I only had command of my body. If I only had command of my body. Now even Everett betrays the Illuminati. Can no one be trusted? Young Denton, use the computer to my left. Find a way to shut me down. All I wanted was to touch the world one more time. Take one more breath of air. Yeah, this is just sad, dude. This is literally just torture. The fact that he's just aware of his existence, you know, like he's just here, frozen, and mentally aware, just staring at a camera, like in a fridge, like helping Everett further his goals with this carrot on a stick. Like, that's so awful. I will not be a prisoner. I wonder if you could kill Morgan Everett. <laughs> it would have some drastic changes for the story. I command you. Kill me. I command you. I command. I command you. I am going to make the uh, moral choice of putting this man out of his misery. <sighs> All right, he's gone. What did I tell you? That was my former colleague, my friend. I know he wasn't doing very well and he was in pain, but I wanted to keep him alive. Stop messing with my equipment and get to the helicopter. Your former colleague and your friend... That's not how you treat your friends. You're using him to pursue your own goals. I wonder uh, about the consequences of that. Morgan Everett's not going to be too happy. That's for sure. Um, now this is... Uh... Oh. Yep. I've got the key. Because this will take us to the roof. Take us to Joe. Just got refueled. I'm waiting for you. Why is there a dead body? Just got refueled. Why is he dead? What the fuck? Oh, what? Huh? Is there a problem? Just looking around. I I checked her out. She's fueled up and ready to go. Is something wrong? Huh? No, I said I checked her out. You want the thing to run, right? If you're gonna cross the ocean. Of course. Better safe than sorry. Ooh. Did the real mechanic get knocked out by a fake mechanic? Yeah, he's an odd mechanic. This is like the fucking gatekeeper th scenario when we were talking to Dowd. Dude, you're gonna be suspicious of everyone. You're like, what the fuck's going on? You're like doubting Everett now. There's a dead mechanic here, and this dude definitely has not fueled up the helicopter. I fixed it right up for you. Oh yeah. Something wrong? How do we fuel this up properly? I think your friend's ready to go. We're about to get screwed. I got a pretty cush job, huh? I got a pretty cush job, huh? An eye for an eye. An eye for an eye, dude. You already have enough lambs? You never have enough lambs. You killed the other mechanic. 
left. We gotta make it right. Uh, Jock. Something's wrong, bud. Why did you kill Everett's mechanic? Something about that guy didn't smell right. You better double check your systems. What did he work on? The fuel system. Hmm. Now that you mention it. Wait a minute. This isn't right. What isn't? Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb? It's remote controlled. Hold on. Get out of there. Just have to pull this wire. There. Relax. I disabled the detonator. We can drop the thing in the Atlantic on the way back to the States. You make a good detective, JC. Ready to get out of here? Dude. Would Jock have gotten killed if I didn't clue on to the, d the mechanic? Like he'd drop me off and then we... Would we both just get blown up? Wow. Let's go. It's a good thing that they position the dead body right in front of you to kind of, like, pay attention. That's nuts. All right, we're out of here. The snipers heard your helicopter and took off. You guys saved my life. I'm glad you're all right. Why is Majestic 12 attacking? You with the NSF? We have a common enemy, if that's what you mean. MJ-12 is short a UC. They lost the one in Hong Kong, and now something has happened to the Pasadena Ocean Lab. Are the Vandenberg Labs safe? The base is locked down until we can destroy the enemy bots. Unfortunately, MJ-12 disabled our own bot defense system, and no one has been able to activate the backup power. I could give it a shot. Where are the controls? There are two separate units at the west end of the base. It won't be easy. MJ-12 has hacked the security grid and taken control of nearly all of our defenses. Turrets, cameras, alarms, and they have snipers everywhere. Easier than a straight fight with military bots. I suppose you're right. I can give you a map. One of the units is in the main complex. The other one is in an exposed location. The activation code is 5868. Thank you, scientist. Appreciate it. One of the control units is outside to the southwest. The other one's in the transformer room. Got a beautiful sunset and the moon. Be careful. Okay. Um, sometimes it feels like, you know, you would have like a, like you could have a cutscene play out when you arrive and witness some of this, but <laughs> we just missed the fight apparently. And I'm picking up dead bodies and throwing them down again. Okay. Uh, now that we have left Morgan Everett's home in an interesting fashion, that is where we bring this episode of Deus Ex to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today, as we are now in a brand new location. We've been deployed to Vandenberg, and uh, we'll have to see what awaits us this time. But the game continues to be a tunnel of labyrinthine puzzles of who's aligned with who and whose goals mean what and who should we be helping out and to which ends it's a very big brain and honestly just masterfully done i love this game so much for its uh for its gameplay that i've gotten so much more used to now and also just the story is just such a ride i'm having a great time i hope you've enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time as we continue